Welcome to Second City News. I am Tanya Tikku. The US forces say there is a high chance that the man identified as Jihadi John, Mohammed Inwazi, has been killed in an airstrike in Syria. The Kuwait born British militant appeared in several videos featuring the beheading of Western hostages. A Syria aid conference led by Prime Minister David Cameron has broken the records by raising $6 billion for Syria and over $10 billion in pledges. According to the UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon, there has never been a global community that has raised so much in a day for a single cause. Demola Akinsaya is here with me to help explain the implications of this aid. Demola, what does this mean for Syria? Well, this means a whole lot for Syria. It means better education for the kids. It means better jobs for their parents. It means better livelihood as a whole. And uh, this conference is actually taking refuge to Syria rather than to Syrians having to use very risky measures to come into Europe. As a matter of fact, Turkey, Lebanon and Jordan have actually offered work permits to the Syrians that have lost their jobs over time so they can keep them in the Middle East region. And I think that's a uh, step in, in the right direction. So uh, what implications will it have in the UK government itself? It would have uh, a positive effect, judging from the uh, point of view of the Stop the War campaign coalition, who actually you know, campaigned against Britain getting involved in the Syrian war. They actually called the Prime Minister a war pimp. So it is going to leave a positive impression that the Prime Minister maybe has a better solution for what has been destroyed in Syria. So, um, apart from the aid, were there any other solutions proposed? Definitely, there were other solutions proposed and everybody has come to realize that taking refuge to Syria is not a, an entirely sustainable solution. The war has to be ended and the Prime Minister at the conference actually reached out to the Russian government to use its influence on the Assad regime so that you know, there can be a better election and then everybody can be happy in Syria. Thank you, Demola. You're welcome. It was announced this week that the Queen will be visiting Birmingham next Thursday. She will be here to see the recently renovated New Street Station as well as soon to be unveiled Metro Trams. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh will also visit the Pulse War Memorial and will officially open the new Birmingham Dental Hospital and School of Dentistry. Today is the official Children in Need Day and Demi O'Larry will replace Sir Terry Wogan for tonight's charity event. Sir Terry Wogan has had to pull out due to health reasons for the first time since the charity's launch in 1980. One familiar face is still around though. Patsy has been at the New Street station today getting some last minute donations. The TV marathon program will start live at BBC 7 at 7. Finally the weather for the rest of the day. It will be mostly sunny with the top temperatures at around 8 degree. Enjoy today as the weekend is looking much more wetter though milder. 13 degrees on Saturday and 14 on Sunday. That's it for Second City News for this week. See you next Friday.